In this video, I want to discuss how to write the equation of a straight line. The equation of a straight line has got this well-known form where y is equal to mx plus c is the well-known form. In some books, it will be mx plus b, where m is the gradient of the line, gradient, and gradient is defined as the rise over run. These are the two things that you should know. One is gradient of a line, and the next is C, which is called the y-intercept. Okay, now, uh, you can start anywhere, but it would be easy if you can find the y-intercept in the graph. So y-intercept is where the graph cuts the y-axis. Well, say let me call this line 1, and this is a line 2. So let's start with line 1. For line 1, What's the y-intercept, or what is c? c, as I told you, is the point where the graph cuts the y-axis. So it's very clear, yeah? That is 3 is the y-intercept. Now, a good way to understand gradient is, or have an estimation of a gradient, is to understand whether the gradient is positive or negative. By convention, if a line from left to right, this is your left, and this is your right. So this is left, this is left, and this is right. Okay. If you're going this way, it's right, and if you're going this way, it is left. So from left to right, that means if you're looking from this, this point to this point, what is happening? From left to right, from left to right, it is going down. So the gradient has to be negative. Okay, now to find the gradient, it's a good uh, habit to find one more point that you can see on the graph. So one more point that I can see is, okay, so you can take any point, suppose this is one point, so let me take this point. This point, the coordinate of this point is 2 comma 1. Always good to write the coordinate. The first number tells you across, and the second number tells you up or down. So this is 2 across and 1 up. And this point is 0 across and 3 up. So first find two neat points and join it by a right angle triangle. So I'll always do the run first. This is the run and this is the, sorry, this is the rise. This is the rise. This is the rise and this is the run. So the run is negative because it's, you're going down, and the rise is positive because you're going to the right. So I can say your M, now from year to year, you've got a run of negative 2, and a run of 1, 2. So gradient is negative 1. Okay, so gradient is negative 1, and your y-intercept is C sorry, 3. So the equation of the line is y is equal to minus 1x plus 3, just like that. So this is the equation of the line. Now, just to check whether your answer is right, you take any point, other point that you can see other than that. Suppose this point that I can see is 4 comma negative 1. It's always good to check your answer. That means what they're saying is, when x is 4, y would be negative 1. Okay, and x is 4, y should be negative 1. So let's check it on a, in the equation. So y is equal to negative 1 times 4 plus 3, which is negative 4, negative 4 plus 3, negative 4 plus 3. So yeah, if you put minus, sorry, if you put 4 in this, you should get your y value to be negative 1. So what that's what I've done. Minus 1 times 4. I put x as 4 plus 3. So what we'll get? This is minus 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. And that's what we got. And that's how we confirm both ways that this equation of this line, so we can see that the equation of this line is y is equal to, you don't need to put minus 1, you can put minus x plus 3. So just like that. So the equation of this line is minus x plus 3. Now let's talk about equation 2 or line 2. 
Okay, so let me delete this. Okay, so the same process. What's the y intercept? The y intercept for this line is negative 2. So your c is negative 2 and your gradient. Gradient is rise over run. Rise, always write this formula to be on the safe side. Okay, your rise, so as we saw in the last, uh, last example, so this is, you take this point, which is the other point that you can see? Well, I can see this point. Let us write the coordinate of this, so let me dim, remove the rest of the thing so you can see only what you want to do. Let me delete it and let me also delete this. Okay, so you have only this on the page. So this is minus 2 and which is the other point that you can see. This is 2 comma 2. This point is 2. This is 2 across and 2 up. 2 across and 2 up. Now to write the gradient you draw a right angle triangle. So this is your rise and this is your run. So this is your rise, so you're rising up, so this is positive and this is also positive. Okay, so count the rise. The rise is 1, 2, 3, 4. So your rise is 4 and how much is your run? 1, 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the equation of your line is y is equal to 2x. Equation of the line, I hope you know y is equal to mx plus c. So that is 2x minus 2. And that's the equation of your line. Now always I want you to check whether this answer is making sense. So if this is the correct line, this point, what's the coordinate of this point? So this is 3 across and 4 up. That means when we are saying, what we are saying is when x is 3, y should be 4. So let's put, so we are saying when x is 3, your y should be 4. That's what this point is telling me. So let's see by putting 3 in this equation. Let's put 3 in this equation. So y is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 minus 2, which is 6 minus 2, which is 4. And we have confirmed when x is 3, y is 4.